Hello, I am Dr. Lokesh Handa. I am a consultant plastic surgeon based in South Delhi, Greater Kailash. I am also a visiting consultant plastic surgeon for Pristine. Today I will be talking about the procedures for the cosmetic enhancement of the breast. The most commonly used procedures are the breast augmentation, the breast reduction and the breast lift. Breast augmentation involves the increase in the size of the breast which can be done using two methods. One is the use of uh, prosthetic device which means the uh, implants and second is the use of your own body fat. Now how we can get the uh, own body fat by uh, the procedure called liposuction wherein we take the fat from other parts of the body like tummy or thighs and then we insert that fat into the breast. For the implants, usually there are two implants. One is the silicone and other is the saline implants. But most commonly used implants are the silicone implants. Uh, now the best uh, augmentations for the breast are usually by the implants because whenever we use fat, then the fat can be lost after the insertion of the fat. So uh, let's say we have put 200 cc of fat after a month or so, uh, we will lose 40 to 50 percent of the uh, fat. So the results cannot be predicted in the fat transfer. But in the implants, uh, the results are always predictable because we know that we are inserting a 200 cc implant that will enhance the breast by 200 cc. Uh, the disadvantage of the implant is that uh, you have to insert the implant by giving an incision or a cut, it can be either under the breast or it can be in the armpit or sometimes it can be on the boundary of the nipple and the skin. So scar will always be there. But in uh, the fat transfers, there is a very minimal scar because we are injecting the fat through a small puncture hole. The second most common procedure is the breast reduction or reduction mammoplasty. In breast reduction, uh, as the name indicates, it is usually done to reduce the volume of the breast and it is done in females who have problem with the heavy or enlarged breast and since they are also very saggy, they create a lot of problems which include the shoulder pains, the neck aches or the back aches, also the rashes under the skin or in the breast fold and finally the social embarrassment in the females. So the breast reduction procedure is usually advisable in, in the females who have a very heavy, large breast. Also, they are very saggy, so they also look for the cosmetic enhancement of the breast. And lastly, the third procedure is the breast lift. Breast lift is usually done in patients who have very saggy breasts. Saggy breast means where the nipple in the breast is uh, falling below the breast fold. So there are various grades. For the, the saggy breast, which are grade 1, 2 and 3, grade 3 is the extreme where uh, nipple is pointing downwards and it is quite below the breast fold. And now in the breast lift procedure, which is known as the mastopexy, it can be done by two techniques. First is if the breast volume is good, then we can just lift the breast by reducing the skin and uh, relocating the breast tissue from the lower pole to the upper pole and that lifts the breast and also we relocate the nipple. The second technique is where the breast volume is also very small and the breasts are very saggy. At that point of time, we use the breast implants to lift the breast and we can also relocate the nipple in the same sitting. And sometimes relocation of the nipple is not required. Only with the help of implant, the breast lift can be done. So these are the three uh, most commonly done cosmetic breast procedures. Subscribe to the Pristine Care channel and press the bell icon to get all the expert doctors from India from health and surgery related knowledge. Book your surgery appointment on pristinecare.com. Pristine Care.